My name is Sadia Mahmood, and I'm a fifth year biomedical science student at Ryerson. So in the future, I'd like to work as a primary care physician because I think it places me in an ideal situation to be able to advocate for the people that I work with, the right, that I work for, um, and especially in a country like Canada where we have universal health care, you can work with people from all walks of life. And so I really would like to work um, in that role, especially with, with vulnerable communities um, and populations that are traditionally excluded or marginalized. So I entered Grierson as one of the president's scholars in 2014. Um, and I still remember the day that I received the notification about receiving the President's Scholarship. Um, it was May 27, 2014, Tuesday morning, like 8.04 a.m., and I got the call from President Sheldon Levy. And I, it was one of the most life-changing moments for me. I immediately burst into tears on the phone just because I was so overwhelmed. You know, Ryerson was already my top choice, but this just really sealed the deal for me. Um, and it's meant truly the world to me, quite honestly, because um, in high school, I used to work a lot of hours um, and on top of extracurriculars and um, even trying to do sports it was very tricky uh, to be balancing everything so this provided financial security and kind of stability so that I knew I could dabble in different interests once I came to university without having to worry so much about finances for example. The first thing that I was attracted to was the fact that it is downtown uh, but also choosing biomed here I was also very much so attracted to the fact that we have world-class hospitals just down the street in proximity so I knew I wanted to do some sort of work there whether it was volunteering or projects um, and I just really liked the vibe on campus. I come from a smaller town so growing up there um, I always looked forward to coming downtown and so coming here for school was like the natural choice for me. Commuting from Whitby was something that I was initially very uh, apprehensive about and uh, it was a little bit tricky for me to think about it but to be fair um, I think if anything it has lent an advantage uh, to the way that I approach school now because you know when you commute an hour 45 to two hours each way you, when you get to campus you're not going to snack during your class you're not going to be you know, taking a nap or like browsing through social media you have laser focus and I feel that I'm just a lot more clear because of that time that I've had um, and you know what you can actually use the commute for a lot of useful things so I usually let all my messages on my phone pile up until my commute so then I get all the social media everything done while commuting by having been involved in student groups and having a position on campus um, that has enhanced my experience at Rice and by like so, so much. I think that's the first time that I truly felt that I belonged um, in a community. I know it's a time investment, but to be fair, it pays off so much in the end because you know, you grow a network, you meet up with your students that you can network with and you feel happier. And I find that when you feel happier, you just, you perform a lot better as well. Um, and so over the course of my four years, I've been part of uh, like helping facilitate mentorship courses I helped co-found a couple of student groups. Um, we even established like the Ryerson Science Society along with an amazing team. Um, so just being in all those roles, it really enhances your experience. And I always tell people, I'm like, you know, you can't talk to each other during lectures. When are you going to talk to each other, right? You have to get involved. And um, so working here now as a lead science mentor, it enables me to pass that wisdom along to all the younger students um, and encourage them also to, you know, have the best undergrad experience possible.